Uh, sorry, we'll just find out what your name is first. What, is, what is your name? My name's Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. Awesome. Um, over to you, Jonathan. Hi, folks. How you doing? That was really lame. I'm not doing anything until anyone... Come on. Okay. How are you doing? There you go. That's better. All right. So, um, I'm going to do uh, just a quick speech, a little one. Uh, Benedict from Much To Do About Nothing. Here. And I'm not going to use the microphone. I'll let it pick me up from afar. Stand up. I like it. All right. Then fair enough. I'll do it properly. I do much wonder that one man, seeing how much another man is a fool when he dedicates his behaviours to love, will, after he has laughed at such shallow follies and others, become the argument of his own scorn by falling in love. And such a man is Claudio. I have known when there was no music with him but the drum and the pipe. And now I'd rather hear the tabor and the pipe. I've known when he would have walked ten mile a foot to see a good armourer. And now will he lie ten nights awake carving the fashion of a new doublet. He was one to speak plain and to the purpose, like an honest man and a soldier. And now has he turned orthography. His words are a very fantastical banquet. I mean, so many strange dishes. May I see with these eyes? May I be so converted? I think not. I shall not be sworn, but love may transform me to an oyster. But till he hath made an oyster of me, he shall never make me such a fool. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another virtuous, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. Rich she shall be, that is certain. Of good discourse. An, an angel... Ah, uh, fucked it up. There you go, guys, that was me. Yeah!